If you like to make sure things are in good working order, consider the occupation of non-destructive testing technician. NDT technicians use special inspection methods that give information about the condition of materials and components without destroying them. It's used in many different industries. We talked to an NDT technician to learn more. Hi, I'm Jerry Hom, uh, working at uh, Custom Pipe Services, and I am a senior NDT inspector. Presently, I'm at a client's location, and I'm here to inspect the welds on these pressure vessels that my clients have made. I am looking for uh, cracks or lack of fusion or weld defects that are internal or external and I also check the material that uh, they use for the pressure containment. My typical day starts as I'll arrive at work and then we have a board where we have uh, things scheduled for going to clients to, to do these examinations and what examinations are required. Uh, we're not all qualified to the same level so we have to sort of play uh, the right person to the right job. The things that I do inspect is uh, I do um, inspect pressure vessels, pressure piping at uh, oil refineries, uh, gas plants, uh, pipelines, uh, cranes, uh, vehicles, uh, aircraft, heavy equipment, anything to do with, with personal safety. Most of the inspection work is done outside of our um, office area and mainly it's at the clients because the, the, the products are too big to move to our sites. But yes, there's other uh, um, operations where they actually do it on, like they have their staff on site. In NDT, the different uh, areas you could be working at, you can be working at big corporations where they have their own in-house, like Air Canada, they have their in-house. Uh, then you could be working at the steel mills, they'll have their in-house uh, personnel trained. Or you could have it like us, we're a service company where we actually go to the different clients that don't have those operations and they still require NDT to uh, carry out their processes. The areas that I, I end up doing my inspections are inside of fabrication plants and it's very dusty, noisy, grinders are going, sparks are flying, uh, tripping hazards, um, overhead cranes moving 50 ton items all around. So you sort of keep your wits about you to keep yourself safe. Of course, safety is of prime concern and the personal protective equipment that we use varies according to the conditions of the job. The personality best suited for this occupation is somebody who has patience and the ability to understand. Because uh, I have to work with the layman's, I, I example, welders, plumbers, uh, pipe fitters, and I've got to talk into their language, but then I have to now deal with engineers and they have their own language. Individuals that we're looking for when we're seeking to bring people into our industry are people that are very conscientious, very dedicated to their work, and have the ability, ability to communicate with the client and convey the results of what we found in the material that we've inspected. You can go to college, like the Nader State, to take the uh, material engineering course that they have, that's where it is. Or you can go on to university, but now that is under quality control. The schooling requirements, you can either take it all at once, right, or you can take it where you're employed and then you can go to school like a, a one week, 40 hour course, depending on the discipline that you are looking at. You start at the bottom, you start out like there as a helper and then you would, as you get your training and qualifications, you, you work your way up to become a senior technician. The satisfying aspect is dealing with the clients and resolving issues that uh, may, may or may not be there and uh, ensuring that the, the product is a quality product that's going out their door and that I feel good about it. My typical work week is about 40 hours a week, 8 hours a day. Um, there is the odd time that I actually work weekends and uh, or actually overtime at night. I'm, in my off time, my interests are like cycling and uh, U-controlled aircraft and also just being with the family. U-controlled aircraft is actually you control the aircraft. You just fly in a little circle and it just goes around you. And you go up and down and do all your little stunting. 
and that's what you control. I'm happy about my career choices because it is challenging and other, uh, that I have to learn every day. There's not one day that I don't learn something new. Uh, and I believe that it's a, a good choice because that's what I like to do and also to ensure my safety, my family's safety and also the people around me, their safety. I'm not here to change the world, I'm here to make what I have around me safe. Becoming an NDT technician typically requires a combination of training and work experience and a certification exam. If the occupation of NDT technician interests you, there's more information available, including educational requirements and salary ranges in the occupational profiles on ALICE. You may also be interested in the related occupations of mechanical engineering technologist or welder. Learn more on the ALICE website and make the most of your future. Visit us at alice.alberta.ca.